From the heights of Cucamonga Peak and the depths of Altaloma, it's live on the couch with Dr. Strange. That's me! Woo! Hey, everyone! Oh, what? That is... Wow! Honestly, honestly, no kidding, that was the best opening ever. I really appreciate it. Thank you all for tuning in. Thank you all for tuning in. This is a beautiful day, Sunday, in Cucamonga with the casualties. Woo! Thank you all very much for showing up. Um, I'm supposed to say a joke, but I have no jokes right now. I was out late last night watching these guys with half of you guys, and it was a really, really great show. Rick should show up sooner or later. We don't like him anyway. He wasn't invited. We gave him the wrong address. <laughs> all right, so how about this? Let's introduce yourselves. So, I'm Jake. I play guitar. Not good, just fast. David. Uh, oh, I wasn't done yet. Oh, sorry. Uh, David, I'm a jumper in the band. <laughs> no. Beggars. I'm the crap drummer. Chill. Okay, well, I thank you guys very much yeah. for being here. Um, I want to get this out of the way. Let's address the elephant in my pants. Oh. I saw you guys last night. Dave, you said the F word at least three times. What's up with that? I rewatched that. It was, it was maybe 300 times. At least. Well, yeah. God well, That's called nervous. When you get nervous, I just start cussing. All right. All right. You're, you've been forgiven. All of these awesome people here at the show just made me nervous. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay. Well, speaking of you and the band, you're new. You, I want to know, um, it might seem like a weird question, but did you have to try out for this? I mean, like, how did they know you and, or was it a done deal? It, it was one of these things, that, um, the Casualties were the first band to take Crumb Bums on tour in the U.S., the first band to take us to Europe, the first band to take Starving Wolves on tour. Which so, you sing for both. Yes, and we've been friends for about 18 years. Wow. So it was kind of one of those things where we, we just gave it a shot. We just tried it out, and we did a few songs together, and it worked out so well that it made sense. Did you try it out in practice or like... Up on no, stage we, in front we, of people? We did, we did a, a show together, and wow. that worked out. Were you nervous as hell? Oh, get, did I had all the lyrics yeah. written out all over the place. Because it's one thing to sing with the music. It's another thing when you're by yourself, and Jake's looking at you pissed off like this. No, it was on the mo all the lyrics were on the monitor, so you couldn't hear it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Oh, it, was, it was, yeah, okay. So, yeah, and it, it just worked out. And I think if we would have had time to think about it, this wouldn't have worked. We just, we were in go mode and we just went with it. And we had to learn together. And the, I think the hardest thing was learning not how to get knocked out by the guitars, mm -hmm. you know, on stage, so. Um, before I continue, I want to introduce, since Rick isn't here, something even sweeter than he is. And it was done by one of our customers, Sarah. Dare. It's not a birthday, everyone. It's just uh, oh, a... Nice. Nice. This is from Black Moon Bakery. Whoa! <laughs> the studs. Yeah, the studs are white chocolate. Oh, cool. Thank you, Sarah. Awesome. Thank you, Sarah. Yeah, thank you, Sarah. Yeah. Black Moon Bakery. Oh, and also, please, there's, there's some really good bread from another customer, Jane. Thank you, Jane, as well. Can we get to eat that? No, you don't. You just okay. look at it. <laughs> yeah, no, thank you. no uh, we're going to sell it on eBay. Okay. <laughs> as long as you put some extra icing on it. Oh. Okay, so... <laughs> Established a very established fan. I can only imagine what um, that must be like. I was, but again, it happened so quick. And the main thing was, um, I have such a high respect for the casualties, the name, and these guys being like family to me. That I knew if I was gonna do it, I was gonna go 100%. How many records do you have? Do you think? I don't know. It's just like a wall, though. Okay. Like all the IKEA shells when they mm -hmm. made those. Mm -hmm. I was like, all right, fucking two of those. Everything in order is no. Now. It's really? like it's, no, it's like a weird. punk thrash TGI Fridays. <laughs> shit all over the walls. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> How do you find a record if it's not in order? Like well, you want to listen to something. I started it. like DJing here and there just huh? for fun in New York, and um, I was just like pulling stuff. Oh, out. Right. So now it's all like kind of messed up. But I you know. have to fix it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> to continue with you, Charged Records. That was such a smart thing, and that's another passion that you had. Yeah. What happened to Charge? What are some of the bands you released? That was a really cool label. Uh, and yeah. Really popular too. That was um from ninety. I did that from ninety eight to two thousand and eight. 
and it was just the, the reason why it ended was because it I was putting out music for bands and I felt like the bands weren't touring or anything sure and it's almost like oh check it out here's a record of my band but I didn't I didn't like I was putting out records that I, I felt that it was they were just kind of you know going to the wayside of like oh we're not doing any shows we're not promoting it or anything mm-hmm. and I was like well why am I doing this and then, mm-hmm. then I'm sitting on mm-hmm. tons of records which is cool now because now those records are like oh, now that's awesome. but not then yeah <laughs> I know so I, I was they have been in the basement of the tattoo shop for like 10 years almost you know <laughs> So, but now it's like people are interested in the yes. Boy Scouts again. Yeah, yeah finally getting rid of those yeah, endless struggle yeah. and Boy Scouts. Seven endless <laughs> struggle and stuff like that. I had all those records still. So I've been slowly getting rid of all my old stock. And I was actually thinking about doing another Punks Unite compilation. Oh, yeah. Of just a you bunch of different bands. two volumes, right? The international I one? Did th- three. There was three all together. There was okay. the very first one in 98, which kick-started the label. And then the second one was the international the chaos one, which is bands from all over. And then the third one I did was Side One Dummy, actually. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I felt that they could get it out, just out a little bit more. Big time. Yeah. And then it just, but it kind of like, I, it was never, I never made money off charge. It was no, I know. People a labor of love. Yes. Anything I made off that, I dumped right back into doing other bands. And I did about 30 releases. And wow, that's good. It was cool, yeah. I, I would think about doing it, it again, actually, because I feel like it was it's something that I missed. But I would just do vinyl only, probably. Oh. You know. CDs are pretty much yeah. gone or dead. Only do vinyl. Yeah. I think that would do, not to tell you what to do, but you would do a really good. And you have a benefit show coming up? You were telling me that. To help people in Mexico, Puerto Rico. When is that? Yeah, five that's um, tomorrow at Five Star Bar. But um, yeah, us getting together and, and having some time to think and you know, you really get to see what the casualties are, are about when, when you do stuff like that. It's not about taking and taking and right. taking it's about like all of these motherfuckers here they care about coming to the shows and we want to give back mm-hmm. and you know be part of when it when you know you heard about the earthquakes all yeah. of everybody was like what the fuck what can we do and if and the the point is is everybody it's not like what we make is going to change the world the point is if everybody does exactly. their little bit mm-hmm. Everyone, you just do a little bit, it really does add up. Yeah. It really honestly does. Yeah. Well, that mean, if we little can, goes a long way. Yep. Yeah. If we can send, like, from that show, if we can get a grand together and send it down there, think about all the water and just whatever it is. Yeah. That they whatever want to do, it is. You know? It's, you're just, you're sending goodwill. Yeah. People. That's priceless. And Mexico's always been cool to the casualties. Just, yeah. Apart from some stitches. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> they've always been cool to us. So it's like, uh, it's a way to like get like like David and Mayer said way to give back a bit. You know? Yeah, we did something um, with GBH just on the fly and raised a, a couple grand for uh, Houston mm. with the floods, and that really you know it feels good to know that you're you're getting up on stage doing what you love, but also giving back. And GBH, you know, they were right there. They had a day off. They didn't have to do shit. They showed up. We all played. It was awesome. Oh, that's really yeah. good. It was yeah. for the what? ASPCA? Yeah. Oh, see, the that's dogs great. that people yeah. have fun. Well, oh. dogs and cats. Yeah. yeah. And everything, it's like you're saying, it, every, when, when devastation happens like that, everything gets affected. So if everybody gives in, then we can help out. Um, so with, now with this new, not a new lineup, but with you and the band, what do you have a tour going on, and then do you have a new record that you're thinking about doing? Or We are thinking about doing it. One thing at a time. Like this tour, it, it, it's been long. We've been out for over two months now. Wow. So take a little break and then start the writing process. And yeah, we're gonna do a new record. Hopefully by maybe come out next summer. We're hoping. Perfect. What's the best show so far on this tour? And are you guys just do you usually hit the same places? Spokane. Uh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Philadelphia and New York were fucking awesome. But I mean, that's like last time was yeah. sick too, though. You know. Right. Oh yeah, last night nice was great. Uh, Philly was Philly crazy. Was crazy. No, we had Philly was great. We had a, it's, been, it's been a great tour for us. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. It's, Montana. It's a good too. lineup. Really? Montana. Montana. I would think that would be a good place because a lot of people they don't go to certain places, and yeah. when you do go to a certain place, they come out of the woodwork. Yeah, right? like, like Bozeman, Montana. We just played. Bozeman, there. It wow. was killer. The show was killer. They <laughs> yeah. treated us great. It was awesome. A lot of snowboarders there, you yeah. know. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. it's awesome. And then uh, and it's funny because then we just played in um, Grover Beach, and it was like a lot of surfer like people. Grover Beach, yeah, cool. yeah. Central. 
great California. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a nice area. And uh, it's like like you're saying, like we we make a big effort to go to places that bigger tours just skip. You know, because mm-hmm. there's there's super like good scenes sometimes in those yeah. places. Just they want it. They, they, they yeah, need they it. it. You know, yeah. a lot of kids don't have the opportunity to get to drive very out. far out. Yeah. So you get there. Everybody that's at that show wants to be there. <laughs> yeah. Bozeman, Montana. Bozeman. I've heard of it, but it's never been. I'm probably yeah. never will. Band, <laughs> don't Sorry, skip Bozeman. It. Don't skip it. Yeah. Uh, well, getting back to <clears throat> to music and to records, I like to ask this question. Give me your guilty pleasure, like a record that you have that you kind of don't want people to know that you have that you really dig oh, on. Dude, I listen to ABBA. He, we live together. He, we, we wake up to it all the time. That's like... I. We'll never get it. That music is timeless to me, and I love it. <laughs> that's a good one. Yeah. No, I, I yeah, Abbott, yeah, that's yeah. cool. I, I don't really Can't have any oh, guilty gosh. pleasures because I, I'm, I'm that dork that I'm like blasting it. I'm like <laughs> blasting it. One, like one of Village People, YMCA. Everything. One of my, one of my favorite records right now, um, and, and they get sick of it because I'm like the sappy emo driver. I'm like blasting uh, Heavens. Which is um, Matt Skiba's oh. like Joy Division kind of side project, and you know everybody loves it, but I'm all that's like my driving music. I'm <laughs> crying a little bit. <laughs> I put my glasses on. What about you, Jay? Uh, Outlaw Country and like uh, sort of like Waylon Jennings, Willie Nelson. I also like, um, uh, but I like like Harry Belafonte. Uh, but it's only his like um, Calypso stuff. And oh, like, I thought you said Harry Ball of Fontaine. Uh, <laughs> Dad. <laughs> no, I should say Harry Tough Ball of Fondle Me. It's like Frank Sinatra, right? You're, you're going to like his swing stuff more than like the ballads. So, oh, that's me. I like that. Now everyone can make fun of you. I'm just kidding. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. My guilty pleasure is probably Neil Diamond because I, that reminds me of being a kid and waking mm-hmm. up with my yeah. dad, yeah. Uh, beating the hell out of me. No, yeah. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, he used to always play that as he beat me. Patsy <laughs> Klein is my morning is my morning kid music. Uh, make coffee. It reminds me of like my mom. It brings you back music. Yeah. I can smell the house that I lived in, yes. like the temperature outside. Yeah, that, and that's 100%. what music does. It really, yeah, it really does. I'm sure you guys have experienced that as well. Mm-hmm. I do too. It can bring you to an emotional state. It can, you know, revitalize you. Music is so powerful. Mm-hmm. And I think it's really cool that some of these guys, people watching, I bet they listen to some of your songs and they say the same things to themselves. And well, that is really powerful. Yeah. That's what really it. Sometimes people will say that to us and it's like, my thing is like, they're like, hey, like you really helped me get through this yeah. time in my life, blah blah blah. And I'm kind of like, that's fucking awesome. But that's you, did. we were just the soundtrack to it. You got yourself through that. You, you know lit the I mean? spark. Yeah. And I, I don't mind don't being be the soundtrack to yeah. it. That's cool. No, that's, that's you know. really really cool. Yeah. You know, I, yeah, it's great to hear that too. But I'm, I'm like, no, no, you empower yourself because you're the one that fucking stuck it out. Whatever, whatever, whatever it was. It was. You know. Yeah. Um, do we have any online questions from anyone, or do we have any questions from the weirdos? We are all we have is considered a punk anthem. What are some punk anthems that influenced you guys? For me, I, uh, it would it would be like you know, uh, take them all like Cox Bar, mm-hmm. or like you know, uh, uh, Rude Boys by Blitz, you know, shit like that. So uh, say so. What, yeah. what really, like, you know, when I was a young kid, you know, um, of course you heard the Sex Pistols and that kind of stuff, and it it was cool just because it was, like, rowdy and I knew it was bad, but when I heard the Exploited is that voice and that punch, um, you know, Punk's Not Dead and, and Fuck the USA, when I first <laughs> heard that, I was like, I, had, I bought this shirt when no one was watching, and, you know, I brought it home and my mom and my aunt were like what is that but it was like an expression you know yeah I can say fuck the USA and they're saying it and it just that kind of changed my life yeah when we write songs we try, we don't go after like we're gonna make this an anthem we produce like what we like we want to sing along with the band like that's why almost every one of our songs has like huge gang vocal we mm-hmm. want everybody involved because like I said this is we're in this together. You know, mm-hmm. We're up our stage is your stage, vice versa, and 
just we love getting people involved. So give them those opportunities to, to chant and sing along with us. And that's what we love. The, and the reason why it was kind of like a no brainer and it felt right to be in this band is there's so much stuff that you don't see, and that's why this is so cool about these guys and, and about the you know about the casualties uh, <clears throat> vibe. Jake, one time we were sitting down and he said something. You know, there's people that talk a lot of shit. They'll put out one record and they'll talk shit about everybody. They can play a big show in L.A. They can play a big show in New York. <clears throat> but can they go to fucking Bozeman? Can they go to these little tiny towns mm -hmm. and play and do these <clears throat> anthems where kids are singing? And that's, that's really the vibe uh, of the casualties and what's so cool about them. Cool about you, because huh? you're a member. Yes. And that's why you guys, like you mentioned earlier, the passion. Yeah. You know what I mean? You make money from punk. You don't make money off of punk. You're punks, and yeah. this is what you do. Whether <clears throat> there's 20 people or 2,000 people, this is what you love to do. And that's why you will probably still always be doing music. Mm -hmm. And that's a great thing. A lot of bands don't. And I yeah, don't yeah. have any respect for those guys. Yeah. Well, you know, and, and so it's easy to say things like when you haven't worked for it, you don't know what it's like to be out there and like in the middle of nowhere on your first tour and like just taking all those risks or where it's mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. it's easy to be a naysayer when you haven't gone through it. And I've even, there's been some bands that have came up to me and been like, dude, sorry for being a, kind of a douche back then because we didn't know what it was like to actually do yeah. any of this stuff, mm -hmm. you know? It's not Sleep, we were sleeping on stages under bridges in fucking like Italy and stuff. Yeah, the same s stage that people were spitting on and like <laughs> really? you know pissing on. We were oh happy that's, to have that's someone where, sleep. Yeah, yeah. like hey, yeah, where are we sleeping? Up. Up. Oh, right there where you were just <laughs> next to the vomit. Yeah, yeah. you take all the <laughs> yeah. bread and any water in a in a cardboard box and it's fucking freezing. You're in Germany. You have no food, no money. You can't. It's not like the states. When shit closes, it closes, and you're in a fucking village. And you know that's that's another thing. People just talk shit, and it's the the bands like this that continue. Yeah. Like GBH, <clears throat> I, I don't even know that they probably got great stories. Oh. But yeah, you got to do it, and you have to have a foundation that you are willing to build on. Yeah. I, th I think people have the misconception it's all glamorous. And I, th yeah. I think the truth is, if it was probably easy, 10 everybody would glamorous. Do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it exactly. this. Everybody would do yeah. It. <laughs> it's 10% it's what you think and 90% oh fuck, we're sleeping in shit and piss. And yeah. you know what? Life could always <laughs> life, life, loving it. life could absolutely always be worse. You know? Yeah. What I mean? Thank you. That's why yeah. we're doing a benefit tomorrow for people that it is really fucking bad for. You know, if I have to sleep on a stage that has. Shit and piss on it. It's like you do it's that always not it's always yeah, that's your preference. That's yeah. better than being like stranded in like a fucking uh, a powerless fucking house in Puerto Rico right now. Exactly. You know? So that's what, like I said. That's why we're doing benefit tomorrow to be like we get that, that keeps you, know? you grounded. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Cool. Okay. Well, I think we're good for um, some trivia questions because we have three tickets mm -hmm. for oh. tonight. Uh, the casualties are playing once again with GBH at the Roxy in Hollywood, California, and we have a couple pairs cool. of tickets. If you guys want to play along, do you want to play along for two tickets, free? No, all right. It's, it's those two guys. We already picked. Yeah, yeah, come here. Well, it's sold out anyway. Yeah, come on. <laughs> come here. It's sold out. All right. So, come on. Here we go. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> who are you gonna? Who are you playing against? This guy. No, no, over here. Stand over here. Yeah, stand over yeah. here. We're I'm doing the moderator. Uh, introduce yourselves. Let's fight to uh, the death. My name's Irvin from Montana, <laughs> California. Andrew from Monrovia. Monrovia. All right. Montana. Can I get? Can I here? Can I get you over yeah. over here so you guys okay. are together? Okay. Okay. Perfect. This is an imaginary podium, and first person that answers. All right. Just shout it out. And is it going to be two out of three? Uh, we'll see how many they answer. Okay, question number one, and you are the judges, of course, because all these questions pertain to you. I didn't sign up for this. <laughs> <laughs> these are the easy ones. You ready? Sure? Okay, well, we're going to find out. Name, this is the casualties, but they are also in some other bands as well. Name one of any other band of any of these members. Name another band that they're in. If you're paying attention, someone said it earlier. 
Anybody? Anybody? Okay, there's one. Oh, there's one. Uh, See? Okay. All right. So that's ticket. that's zero <laughs> right now. All right. All right. <laughs> what is the title of the Casualties' first LP? Or the fun part. Correct. Correct. One. 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 You're playing just so you know. Okay, wait, wait. Let's get some enthusiasm. <laughs> yeah. Two, wait, They're hung wait. over. Oh, there. Yeah. <laughs> two jumping jacks. We need two jumping jacks real quick. <laughs> two jumping <laughs> jacks. <laughs> That's kind of a tiebreaker question. Oh, okay. <laughs> it really is. How do you jump? Okay. Okay, third question. Third question. Okay, we all know we have Dave. He's new. What was the first gig, real gig? Or oh, oh, uh, the city. I kind of the festival. Know. It was a fest. I was in the dot stud. No. You want? Okay, that's good. That's Wait, do you want to hint them a little bit? No, because we want to have the dance off contest. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you, my friend, you are out. That's fine. You are in. This is going to be. <laughs> Hey, didn't I come with you? Okay. Yeah, you came <laughs> on. Did you ride home? Okay. What's your name? I am Anthony Martinez from Fontana, California. All right. Fontana versus Fontana. Everybody knows me as Tito. So. Tito. 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 Tito's got the, he's ready. <laughs> okay, you ready to make a fool out of yourself? Let's do. <laughs> what am I here for? I mean, I will duck and I will duck. You're here to win prizes. It's going to be little. Okay, let's see your best. There's no contest on speed. We're going to take turns. Your best Dave dance move like he was on stage. We only saw him live at what? It's not that. It doesn't yeah, matter how many times. It's not that. Let's all do this thing. Let's do uh, it. Yeah, yeah, he's, he went. Hey! <laughs> but, but he turned around and he was like, ah, nah, nah, nah. Okay, that's good. That's good. <laughs> I'm, I'm hungover, everybody. You got uh, uh, oh, yeah. I remember, I remember we up in the front crowd where everyone just started doing this. He hopped in. He crowd, he crowd dove and then he was running away and I was like, leave him alone. <laughs> okay. Looked, okay. So who's the winner? Going. By far. Tito. He's got it. Tito. You was that was good, but Tito, Tito's got it. Tits. Tits. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. So tits. You got free tickets, my friend. Oh, yeah, now you got <laughs> Woo! Thank you for the that's for tonight. Boxy, which is sold out. And then runner up, runner up gets casualties. Oh, yes. enamel. It's back there. Thank you, brother. No, but. Uh, no, show it, showing people. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Have fun. You. Make sure you go. Yeah. Okay, you're good. We'll see you guys. We'll see you guys. Thank, you, Thank you for the contest, man. Uh, Appreciate it. Playing. Practice your great. And then uh, Misfit shirt over here gets a yes, runner up prize. Oh, nice. You are the runner up. You get a oh, limited awesome. casualties enamel pen. Speaking of me, I really appreciate you guys being here. Yeah. Super cool. Us, it's been 20 years. Uh, well, not for Dave, but for you guys. I wasn't born. I know. You weren't even born yet. <laughs> I really appreciate you. I appreciate you watching. Sorry for the ghost problems. I hope you're actually able to see this. And. All right. My first break. Let's get this fucking circle pit. You guys aren't tired, are you?